can people can say what they would have done if walking in my shoes, and a lot of people have. Mm-hmm. Like, why didn't you think of this? Why didn't you think of that? But I actually think I was quite resourceful considering the level of fear, the level, and I have mental health problems, as I said. So every decision I made, I thought, is that going to make my is that going to exacerbate my situation, or is it going to make it better? Not knowing, not having any support from either the Pakistani authorities, also called a prominent charity in Pakistan. And then every time I tried to call him, he said, there's more important cases. I'm dealing with cases in Dubai. The case just isn't that important. Um, And he'd just ignore my calls or he'd be like, oh, Lara, sorry, I'll I'll call you back in an hour. And he never would. Mm. And um, the Australian authorities, um, you know, when I I, I called them a number of times um, before I left, and then there was one day that I just told, I laid everything out on the line. They were the, and they didn't seem trained in red flag situations. I said, am I safe to talk to you? Mm. I'm in a dangerous situation. I'm safe to talk to you. And they were like, really very poorly trained and had no empathy. I They were treating me like a prank caller, like a nuisance. The Australian and consulate t- in Pakistan. That's how they were treating so you. They were trained like a mission, yeah, okay. in Islamabad. And um, I also called the emergency consulate many times in Canberra. Mm. And then there was one time that I just, I just said, my name is Lara Hall. This is my situation. I'm being assaulted. I, this is what's happening. My visa is overstayed. Can you please help me? And they said it's beyond the scope of their charter to help me. And they wrote me an email, which I've got, and they didn't even annex their charter. I said, please find a next a list of local lawyers and um, the the charter. It, they annexed neither. I, it, it, it's so oh, negligent. Right. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.